All right, so my full memo thermal printer has just arrived. Things are great. <laughs> I can use those. Well, there you go. Label printer. <laughs> so there it is, a full memo PM two forty six. Power cord, USB 2.0, and then that's the the brick. And then the last thing is the printer itself. I really like that it's white. I'll be honest. Self test page. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> Everybody likes an unwrapping. Look at that nice mirror. And so there it is the full memo label printer. Unfortunately, I did not receive my thermal um, labels today. I'm going to get those, I think, yeah, after Christmas. So in a couple days from now, but so I'll continue the, the video when I get those. Oh, where am I? There I am. Hi guys. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys in a bit, in a couple days, or like magic. All right, so the thermal paper has arrived what kind did i get i got the that's the one i got on uh, amazon i'll have links for this and the printer in my description all right so 500 labels only cost me like 26 dollars and change and this will last me about half a year or so a little bit less than half a year if I, if I do the same as last year. So that is awesome. And then no ink. So I'm returning this ink that destroyed my printer. And now, now we're going thermal. Look forward to it. Okay, so we go to fomemo.com. So if you go there, you've got to this page, their home page. Once you're here, You'll go up here to the printer, which is at the PM246. And so that's the printer I got. It's in USD price. All right, so I paid less than that on Amazon. Now you have to go out here to support, and then here's the printer driver down here. I'm gonna say right now their website needs work, but I'm giving it a go and we'll see how it goes. And so you download, I have Windows, Windows 10. And then they have the instructions here on their help center, right there. So, seems pretty simple. All right, let's open it up. All right, so as you can see right here, before installation, please ensure your printer is connected and turned on. So,
Nice. That just grabbed it and aligned it perfectly without having to do anything. I didn't even have to have that open. I closed it and then put that. Perfect. All right. Let's see. That was pretty easy. Okay, what next? Set as default. Windows couldn't understand that I changed the name, so I had to back out and go back in. So they changed it to full memo label printer instead of label printer. And let's see. Yeah, that fixed the issue. How? And there you go, it worked. Just like that. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Fomemo label printer, the P something, I don't know, PM246. And so I'll leave a link to this, uh, the Amazon.com and .ca links. And yeah, it seems to work flawlessly. Installing it was very easy, following the instructions. Probably could have figured that out without that, but uh, very excited with the purchase and uh there it is so real quick here are the two listings here at amazon.com for the us 143.99 plus you get 10 bucks off so 133.99 us and then here's the dot com dot ca listing amazon.ca it's 191.99 with 12 bucks off so about 180 dollars canadian and so those links will be down in the description. And the one thing I like about this one is how sleek it looks. The nice shiny black top and the white. I like the white. Not so much the orange on the side, but I mean, it's okay. But I really like that shiny top. Alright, so here's something that sold yesterday. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Let's hit the print button. Oh, that's my old printer. Oh, see more maybe. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, perfect. No. No. It's gonna take some tinkering. Okay, so the only the only way that I've found out how to get this to print correctly so far is to open the label in PDF opener and then I have to make sure that this is all on screen and centered right here. Make sure that nothing is hiding. Don't scroll too low. You have to see everything on screen. And then you can use the zoom in right here. Make sure it's all fitting. Once you've done that, then I can click the print button here. And then these are the options that I have to change. More options, current view, it has to be current view. And then fit, and then I have to choose, wait, sorry, actual size, and then portrait. And then it looks like it's gonna work. This is gonna be the first time I test it out, so let's see. Okay. Looks like it didn't quite work, but I'm getting very close. Actually, I've just come to the conclusion after doing one more print is that I probably have this all set up incorrectly inside. There's probably two things that I have to push in to make sure that the paper is centered. As you can see, the paper is definitely not centered. So that's my fault. Now 
There we go. Let's give that one more shot. Hopefully that's the end of... I wish that would save. Looks like we are golden. All right, super excited. Got everything working flawlessly. No issues whatsoever. And so now, instead of having to tape it, just peel it right off. And away she goes. Awesome. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys. Really appreciate your time and I hope you learned a thing or two and maybe this will be will come in handy for you and uh, I'll let you guys know if there's any issues with the printer moving forward so don't worry about that um, but for the time being five out of five stars I mean I have zero issue everything worked flawlessly as you saw I didn't cut any uh, stuff out that you know if I had any issues or anything only thing that we had was the three beeps and I just checked the um, pamphlet real quick and there was the answer with the three beeps so which was no paper so anyway uh that's gonna be it thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one so